there everyone, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin video. Thank you very much for tuning in, I really do appreciate it. Today's vid, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a lovely Hagrid's hut from Harry Potter. So, of course, if you're a Harry Potter fan like I am, then you'll definitely know this from all the movies. Hagrid is such an awesome character, and uh, we of course have Buckbeak out the front, which unfortunately has to be represented in a horse because we don't have any of the actual creatures um, from Harry Potter, which I hope they will make Harry Potter's skin pack as well speaking of that subject because they definitely need to make like a three times high skin called Hagrid like he's like up here that'd just be awesome um, but yeah anyway let's get started sorry for blaring on right so what we're gonna need is you're gonna need some cobblestone steps which are right here you're just gonna need some cobblestone itself not the silverfish cobblestone because you do not want uh, the silverfish in your way cracked smooth stone blocks as well cracked stone blocks my bad uh, and then we're gonna need some uh, cobblestone slab. We're also going to need some dark oak slab and some dark oak stairs. You will need a lantern, a couple of lanterns in fact, and some glass panes. And this is for the actual structure. I'll show you how to build all the little details around the exterior, the exterior of the build once we've finished as well. And we're going to need a plant pot. My bad, I almost forgot that. Uh, and of course you want to add some smoke coming up the chimney. You could just use a normal campfire down here. Or you could just use some lovely cobwebs to represent kind of the the wind is taking the the, uh, the the fire sort of fumes away. So basically this house goes like this. So it goes, it's coming a little bit further away from our other build. One, two, three. Then we come out one. Both sides. Then we come out another. Like this. And then we go back both. I think it's five. Is it? No, uh, it's three. Then it goes in. Okay, perfect. So three like so then we go in again get in then we connect this up like this so you should have this weird pattern here and uh, now it kind of looks like a little drain maybe a star you know like on top of a christmas tree or something which is kind of cool um and basically we need to build the opposite this side building similar but i think this one might be a little bit bigger i'm not sure although i did try and make it as symmetrical as i could just so we can keep this going right let's go for it so over here you'll need to build this, this, one, two, three, and then this, three in, then around the corner like this, three, and then, sorry I made a mistake, there we go, like that. So basically you've got a double star, but this one bit in the between is connecting these up, so you've got this weird L shape, well, kind of corner shape here, then there's a three on top, corner shape here, three down, corner shape going backwards, three down, three across, corner shape going upwards and then obviously the three here so perfect though that looks pretty good it's good to go I've just realized we need a oh no I've got the block never mind it's all good so now what you want to do is you want to grab your slabs and you just want to stick them in this floor here now you can make the floor up to these points if you want so you can take out these cracked um, stone bricks just so you have a little bit more space on the in on the interior for you know putting some more blocks and whatnot it also helps you to determine where the walls are going to be. Um, but if you feel more comfortable leaving the bricks there, it is really up to you. So that looks pretty nice. I like that. It's quite it's quite cool. So over here, we're going to build our door. Actually, we're going to build it this side, so it's pretty much the same as the other one. You want to go up to like that. And of course, the door is going to go in between. We're going to stick our cobblestone steps there. Oh, there's a lot of cobblestone in this build. It's quite hard to say. <laughs> um, from, especially my speech is a little bit off, so I apologize for that. So cobblestone going up all the way around on these three block ones you want to leave a gap on the second high one for your glass panes which is going to go there and then same on the back here like that and then all the way around so these are too high going around these corners and this one actually doesn't have a door this block over here doesn't have a door so we need to put another cobblestone step just there look at this that's what we're trying to achieve basically and then we're going to build this up around again this one also has a window round and then window round again so there's a lot of windows in Hagrid's hut which is kind of nice because he is a very big man so I'm sure he sweats a lot and we need to definitely make sure there's enough windows to vent that uh, the smell out <laughs> and he has a lot of pets of course and they smell pretty bad I know from experience because I have a pet bird and uh, he is very smelly <laughs> right so gonna tear these up another tier now guys 
so it's three blocks high with a cobblestone. All the way around this is. Don't leave a single block empty. I want to make sure these window frames are nice and secured as well, and these door frames. And now above the door frame, what we're going to do is, you see there's only one block there exposed. So basically we're going to come to this block here, and we're going to stick this just here, like so. And now as you can see, we're going to just take down this wall now, and leave this door again. Um, these basically just help us to know where the, the little overhang is going to be for the doors. So if you want to remove these again, if you didn't want to build these in the first place, it's, uh, it's totally up to you, it's fine. And then we're going to stick the lanterns just here. And if anyone can figure out how to actually stick another stair on the side with the lantern on it, you know, just let me know in the comments, that'd be awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, dark oak wood stairs and we're going to come all the way around and bend them around onto these blocks here. And now for this one we're going to actually put this side as the biggest kind of shell. Because um, I'm going to split this house into two shells. So that's what we're going to try and do here. Spin these blocks around the corners of these cobbled bricks. And then around, oops, made a mistake. Just around there and then there. This bit gets a little bit tricky. There we go. Connect it up. Make sure it's all overhanging a little bit. And then this side, obviously, don't worry about it at the moment. We'll get onto that in the next step. Okay guys, so as you can see, there's like the steps are connected up this side for the biggest side. But what we're going to do is make this side the biggest side. So I can show you whichever one you wanted to do, it really doesn't matter which one you choose. So now what we're going to do this side is basically the opposite. So I'm just going to make this come along the gap there. This one goes out on there. Again there. Curve around all the way to that overhang bit and then it goes along the door frame back out and in over the window like that and round the corner just here awesome 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 that is pretty good so let's just double check this gap make sure it's actually pretty good yeah so there's like one block look so it connects the roof up so it's literally just there like that and then this gap what I did was I actually made the wall up a little bit so that was kind of like that so then we could stick that block there but we want to make one of these bigger, so we're going to make this one bigger, like we said. And now for the windows, I'm pretty sure I just stuck a cobblestone block above. Yeah, I did. For each of these windows. Now, many of them you can't see because the interior is quite decorated. Because um, Hagrid's hut is quite messy, to be honest. It's very, very messy. So we need to make, basically achieve that in, in Minecraft. Which is a little bit tricky because Minecraft is quite clean. As the blocks are, you know, square shaped, so it's hard to get little bends and curves and stuff where you need it to go but we achieved it it's pretty cool so above all these um, windows now we're just gonna put the let me just switch out block there we go so you want to switch out that slab just for a do uh, dark oak planks block because you're gonna stick these stairs just behind this window so as you can see I've put a stair on top of this window block we made then I put a block behind that then I'm gonna stick blocks just around the windows like that now here we can just curve it around like it's a normal block. Two around here. And then stick that one. Oop, almost. Oh come on. Come on. You know you know you want to connect. You know you want to connect. Come on. I have to do it from this angle. There we go. Perfect. So this one is a little bit longer as you can see, so we might just change it up a second. I think what I did here was I actually made this big one so it's such a confusing piece of like work this bit um, it gets a little bit confusing so if you just want to pause the it at any point definitely do so it's absolutely no problem and I'm watching like people building tutorials like TSMC um, he built some incredible tutorials guys if you haven't checked him out definitely go check him out for, for Minecraft tutorials um, yeah when I'm watching his vids I always get a little bit lost so if you need a pause it is cool feel free to do so that looks pretty good guys so you should have this sort of shape now. So this side, it's got like a three. Then this goes back by four. Uh, is that four? Yeah, it's four. And then this side is three. Then this one's three. And then there's like a block here. We need to connect that up. So it should look like a plus sign in a second. Ah, oh, this is a dodgy angle as well. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Again, okay, nice one. 
And look, this is where our kind of we got is this line here, and then this side is the kind of plus sign. And of course, the chimney has to go in one of these gaps, and we're going to make the gap just here. So this goes up by two, and then you just stick the chimney kind of thing on the top. Let's go up by three. My bad. Did think that looked a bit short. There we go. By three, it's perfect. So steps basically go around this now, like this. And now for this angle here, we just stick a block. I believe. <clears throat> Excuse my throat. So that's three. So the roof is a little bit weird. So if you want to just change that up, stick that there. Stick that one. About there. There we go. And if you want to build that up one more again, so what we're trying to achieve is basically so you can see three, three blocks high. Obviously, of course, you can see four at the moment, so we need just, there we go, change that up a little bit. And probably stick another block this side. And I think that's good. Yeah, and then we just slabbed it. I put slabs around this area. So here again, we just did the same thing. Put a block in there. And then just slab this area over here. If you want to change it up to a block, could do. I might just put some slabs on there, right. Switch out the block now, guys. Just stick your, just stick your slabs on there. There you go. So it might look a little bit strange, and it kind of does look a little bit strange. Um, Hagrid's hut kind of has these two antennae sort of pillar things on the top of the, the huts. Um, so trying to achieve that again is quite tricky. But that looks okay if we just make that block level with this one and make that one high. That's a bit better. Okay, so if you guys want to change this up, feel free. It's not it's not a problem at all. Let's stick that one. Just trying to make this a little bit more even around the place. It's too even, I think. Oh, I think I made a mistake. Alright guys, so I did make a mistake, but I did figure it out and how to fix it. So I'll just show you guys how to do it. Um, basically what we did was where we connect up the two kind of hollows for the roofs um, the middle section where the door is connecting the two is three blocks high and I accidentally made it three blocks high instead of two with the cobble so and same with the roof I made that like four blocks high when it should only be three and you should only be able to see three visibly um, and it makes all the difference I know it's such a small little mistake but like with something like this this sort of shape it's such a confusing shape and stuff we need definitely to make that exactly the same the whole way through it kind of needs to have some symmetry about it so that was where I've gone wrong and I'll just show you guys how to do it. So as you can see the bottom layer is actually pretty good, the one that connects both of them together. We just needed to break that kind of section there where the roof is, stick three stairs there and then that that chimney is in a good spot. I think we need to make the stair the other way around in a minute but that's fine we'll come back to that later. But look you can see that is just past the door frame. So the actual, the other one, the longest one is going to be over the door frame so we need to, so like this say. And um, if we go back to, I carry on referring just so I don't make a mistake, it's, uh, it is easy to make a mistake in this stuff guys, and I do apologise once again for this, um, it is quite a tricky build, Hagrid is a big dude and he's got a very big roof on his house, so um, yeah, but there we go, just connect it up like that, curve it round, we have just, we just need to break that corner one there and curve the, the, the bottom one round a little bit more, so it's connected, there we go, and then the roof, literally there's three visible as you can see, if we just turn that stair at the bottom there round in a minute so it goes up by two so like this there we go perfect hey presto and now for the finishing touches we just need to add and make sure the chimney is three blocks high visibly just past that stair there at the bottom uh, and then just make the slab sort of l-shape just beside it so it's basically like a slab jump between the chimney and the block pretty cool sorry about that again guys all right so let's get started on this side so what I'm going to do for this one is just going to refer back so I don't make a mistake again. And this goes around. So this we got off the first layer. That's perfect. This one curves around. Okay, I know how to do this. Right, so that's... We did that pretty accurate already. So that was good. We just need to grab that block back again. It's that dark oak block. So we've got this kind of um, stair above the window. And we got a block back. That's good. Then this one needs to go around to here. 
Ooh, and go around to this block there. Perfect. Yeah, so that we've got that shape, though, which is what we need. It's definitely what we need. So we need to go up on the second one and then up again, so that's good. Two blocks up. So this goes up by one. That goes up by one again. That's awesome. Okay. So we're up to this stage now. Uh, and then up where this block is behind the window, we need to go up one there. So basically, we need to fill this block in. Stick that there. Do the same all the way around this area now. Stick a double block on there. I think that's supposed to be how it's done. Okay, this side not so much. So this side over here. Oh, that's alright. That's actually right. Okay. And the two windows, they got a block either side. Yes, okay. And then they got that block on top. Which is perfect. Okay, guys, we've done the roof. Whew. Okay, that's the most hard. That's like basically the hardest part done. So if you've done that, you've done very, very well. Trust me, it was it was a nightmare to build in the first place. So rebuilding it is is definitely tricky. Um, so yeah, give yourself uh, give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> That's quite a, it's quite a cheesy expression, I know, but that is very hard. Well, let's get started on kind of doing some decorations. So what we're gonna do? Just clear our inventory, grab ourselves some spruce doors. These look the best for Hagrid's heart. So stick one there, and we're gonna stick one this side of the door so it opens kind of to the right. This is cool. And this one opens to the left. It doesn't really matter, but it looks a little bit cooler. Um, that one actually opens to the left as well. I know that one opens to the right, but never mind. Right, anyway. Anywho, anyway. So, for the interior, what I did is I kind of just scattered a load of blocks about the place. So if you guys want to do exactly the same as I do, I will definitely show you. But if you don't, if you just want to mess about with it, uh, yeah, just do whatever you want. It really doesn't matter how you decorate this. It is literally very hard to make a mistake. As long as you don't break any of the, the exterior build, you cannot go wrong in the interior. It just can be as messy as you like. And you can base it from whatever movie you want. I'm basing mine from all the movies where Hagrid just chucks his stuff wherever he likes, basically. So, yeah. So we're going to get started over this side, first of all. And we're going to grab ourselves... Uh, not the snow smoker. So we need a blast furnace. We need a trip by hook. We need some water buckets. We need some cauldrons. We need a barrel or so. Bookshelf. A lovely ladder. We also need some trapdoors. Um, we're going to grab ourselves some dark oak trapdoors just for that underneath there. Um, we're going to grab a lantern again. Lanterns, where are you? There you are. And yeah, that's pretty good to go for now. We'll do the other side in a second. So let me just quickly take a mental note of this. So then on the next side. And we also need a anvil, but I'll have to come back for that. And the cartographer table, which we'll also have to come back for. So, come on, Wheel Assassin. Can you remember this, guys? Probably not, but let's give it a go. <laughs> so that goes there. That goes in there with the water there. This one, I believe, goes here, but we need to put that there. Um, these are in the roof. Oh, no. That ain't good. That is not good. Um, if I just use that, I can get rid of this water bucket. Crap, the stair back. That was not cool. That was basically what I was telling you guys uh, not to do. <laughs> and then I go and do it. That's typical. There we go. So, barrel is just in the roof here. <clears throat> then we put a bookshelf above here. We have that there. And then we place a couple of ladders. And then... Let me go refer back to the other one quick. Okay, so... Ah, that's what I need to do. So, in, oops, come on, let me in the house, come on. There we go. So this one goes a little bit higher, that one goes there. Then we need to grab ourselves cartographer table. There, and anvil. There. That one goes there, that one goes there. Is that that side done? Let's go have a look. I think it might be. Apart from the... Uh, lantern. Yeah, the lantern goes above the thing, which you need another cobblestone block for for the interior there. And then that is side that side is done. We need to put a lantern above the doorway there. And another lantern that side with a button. So let's go and put the lanterns in quick before we forget. I say we, but I mean myself. Because <laughs> I always forget. So that goes there. That one goes there. That's, there's a button just down there. And then there's one above the, the door frame just there. Awesome. 
All right, now we need to build this side. So as you can see, I've added a little bit of detail, kind of mossy cobblestone bricks for the floor and stuff. But if you want to leave this plain, you know, it doesn't have to be like this. It can be the wood that we've used on the other one. I'm going to keep it wood in the other one because I think it looks nicer. Um, but if you want to add this little, oh, you know, the, the rough and tough kind of stone look, feel free. Um, so we're going to grab ourselves a trapdoor, some iron bars. We're going to grab a block of coal. Oh, no. There we go. Uh, trip wire hook once again. A dark oak door. A dark oak stair. And some dark oak signs. I think that's about it. So, block of coal in that corner. We also need a button again. My bad. There's a button in that little corner down there. Then the seat's here, so... No, not on top. We need it on the sides, by the way, guys. Should have mentioned that earlier. There we go. Put the button down there. And then there's this block of coal with this there. Also that in the floor. You can leave that grass if you want underneath, but you can change it to stone as well if you wanted to. It looks cool either way. And I think there's a strip wire hook just there, but if it's not, it still looks alright there anyway. Let's just jump and check this. Oh, it was there. That's good. Oh, and there's one little iron bar just above Hagrid's seat at the back there. So, just there. There we go. That's supposed to represent a birdcage, by the way, guys. So, maybe for, like, a little dragon egg or something like that. Um, pretty cool. Right, so let's get started on this other section. Right, this one gets a little bit confusing because we've got this fireplace going. So, we need cobblestone. We need some campfires. Uh, compost bin. Actually, that's for the other side. We won't do that yet. Barrel some barrels, a blast furnace again, a smoker, grinder, stone cutter, sorry, not a grinder, um, whatever that is, a fletching table, nice, iron trap door, a plant bolt, this is actually quite a cool build, this bit, because the, for the fireplace there, look, you can see I've made this weird shape, we're just going to get rid of the iron trap door for a second, so I can show you how to build this fireplace, so, you need a cobblestone slab for this. You also need an iron bar. Which I've lost. There we go. Okay, and then we need to build. What we're going to do is, as you can see, the, the fireplace lines it up for us because it's got the chimney. So just build it around like that. Stick these two slabs in there. It's cool. And then there. They go there. And then we stick our barrel just in. I think it's there. But I can't be sure. It is, okay. And there's one in the roof. And there's two of that side, and one there. We can fill that roof in a minute as well. Okay, there we go. Right, and then we'll just fill that roof in with a campfire now. Just get rid of the campfire. There we go. Oops. Oh, no. Ah, oh, wheel assassin. Come on, you're making a mess. There we go. Well, that's basically the idea in Hagrid's heart. Make a mess, and then you'll you'll succeed. <laughs> um, but we need to make this proper. So, let's get rid of that, get a plant pot, and then we're going to grab ourselves another button. So, as before I forget to do this, we need to do Blast Furnace, Smoker, then Stone Cutter. Okay. Blast Furnace, Stone Cutter, and... up oh, Smoker, then Stone Cutter. Cool. So... What you want to do is stick an iron bar there, and then you want to stick a flower pot underneath. And that represents kind of a, a hot pot sort of thing. It looks really cool. I think it looks quite nice in that little corner there. And I think there's a button just there. Just chilling in the middle of the floor. Yep, it is. And then we need a compost bin and some ladder. Compost bin and some ladder. Another button. Some more dark oak stairs and some... I used a spruce table for this, so if you want to use a spruce one as well, you feel free to do so. But if you want to use something else, it's entirely your choice, guys. I don't know why I used a spruce one, I just think I just chucked it in, you know, just make it look a little bit different. Um, right, that is all the blocks left, and of course that kind of framed axe up there. So, come on, remember this, take a mental note again. Right, so, there's a seat there and there. And then there's one of them there. There's buttons kind of scattered everywhere, so if you want to stick them wherever you want, it's totally fair enough. 
Let's dispense up there. Uh, I swear there's something in that corner, but I've forgotten what it is. Ah, those two things. I didn't put them in. I forgot. There's a button under there. Okay. Okay. I got this, I think. And in the middle of the floor there. Okay. So, last finishing details. Fletching, blast furnace, and an iron trap door just there. And there we go. That is Hagrid's hat. Hagrid's hat? No, Hagrid's... Hagrid's hut. The interior done and the exterior done. That looks really good, guys. Great job. So, if you wanted to add a little bit more detail, what you'd have to do is grab yourself a diamond shovel or whatever shovel you have available and make a grass path leading away from the front door there in like a diagonal shape. Um, just a, a few blocks out there and start to cut it back around. Like this. And then as you get to around here, you just want to go straight on for quite a while. And then you just want to kind of make this pathway, just kind of dot it around a little bit there, and make it a little bit longer. And then as it gets to about here, you want to start bending this round as well. And if you take it to about there, that is basically where it leads into the Forbidden Forest. And yeah, looks cool. So you, know, you can see this kind of weird shape. Uh, you could do the same this side. So if you wanted to like make this a little bit wonky, or say. So if you wanted to take out a couple blocks there, maybe just fill them two back in. That's a bit weird. There we go. Uh, yeah, do whatever you want. And then, of course, for the pumpkin patch, you just build pumpkins and plonk them around. I'll quickly show you any way you can do that. If you just grab yourself a hoe and some pumpkins. To grow the pumpkins in the way you like, you just have to do this kind of weird thing. So where are the pumpkins now? I've lost them. There they are. So you can have the pumpkins with the faces on, but I'm going to leave them plain for this one because it looks kind of unique. Looks to the, looks like it should be there for the build. It's quite cool. A compost bin and some cobbled wool. This looks good. Mossy cobbled wool. This is, by the way. And obviously, some bits and bobs around the exterior of Hagrid's hut makes it look rusty and you know a bit worn down. And obviously, some rocks scattered about the place as well. But I'll show you how to build this quickly. So for this, I've just gone back across like that. Same this side, but this one goes a little bit this way. Uh, and then for obviously the pumpkin patch, you want to just stick a pumpkin in the ground, grab yourself some bone meal, grow it up to the full point, and then you just want to stick your pumpkin any of these four spots around. And if you wanted to stack pumpkins up, of course none of them, apart from one of them, would be connected like this, say. Eh? But it looks kind of cool as well, so. Of course, the rocks there, I literally just use stone and a stone slab, just normal stone this is. And I came to this corner about here, stuck that there, and a slab there. And then for that there, I just went, you know, simple as, simple slab. And then for the back, of course, the like, you know, slabs up, random blocks around the place. Mostly things like cauldrons that look like cages. This could also be the bird cage. If you wanted to change up the bird cage to a monster spawner, instead of that kind of block there. That looks way better. It's kind of cool as well. And then we just stick a, say, a cobblestone wall underneath there to hold it up. That looks much better. A bit more detail, which I literally just found out. <laughs> so that was good. And then, of course, some plant pots around the place. You could put yourself different woods around so you can make it look like he's uh, Hagrid's been busy chopping down wood for the school, maybe. So if you grab an item frame and stick an axe inside of it, we also need to stick an axe inside for the inside of the house, so let's just do that. We will stick a cobble axe for that. There we go. And for this area, I want to stick the axe in that side there. We were trying to make it on top like it was stuck in the the you know the wood, but it was a little bit tricky. And what I did here was I made like a dog sort of cage. So of course for Fang or something like that, you could have a little kind of dog cage area thing for for any pets that Hagrid might have that he's not supposed to tell the school about like Aragog say <laughs> um, so we just want to stick ourselves plant pots basically wherever you want to be honest with you and obviously at the back here just want to stick like a block maybe there up there yeah just stick them 
in a random spot. It doesn't really matter. There's no consistency to this build, really. It's just however you build it in the moment. You know what I mean? So it's kind of a random thing. Just stick that one there. Stick that one going up there. And now for this, what I did was I just stuck block there. Oh, no, block there. And then that going up like that. And just make sure there's a block on the back as well, just in case anyone gets a little bit nosy. Okay, and then obviously the iron trapdoor on top of that. Piece of wood there. And the last couple details is just some cauldrons about the place. Maybe some rain collectors, you know. Supposed to represent um, some self-sufficient hut business going down around Hagrid's uh, base of operations. So there we go. And then for the final, final thing. Well, second to final thing, you could add, of course, another another rock back here. And this is supposed to represent the rock from Prison of Azkaban, where uh, Hermione and Harry they go back in time because obviously Ron's hurt. He can't do much at the moment. He's been bitten by a um, a wolf, which sucks. So there's like a little rock back here, and you can peek over it and throw a rock through the window of Hagrid's hut. And of course, that would be a little bit further back, so you could add more pumpkins in. But I've just made it a little bit close for you guys to see in action. And then we're going to add some compost bins, maybe just there, say. Or maybe even just away from the fence so it doesn't connect. And then the last thing, of course, now this is actually the last thing, is Buckbeak himself. So, what we're going to do, him or herself, we don't really know if it's a girl or a boy, so kind of cool. So what you want to do, stick some spruce fence up like that. And then come back here, four again, two in the middle. And then you want to connect these up. This almost looks like a spit roaster sort of thing as well. Um, but it's not really, you know, supposed to represent that. Actually, these are five, my bad. And they've got three on the second layer there. There we go. It's much better. Or you could even just make it three to begin with. Which is why I've done the other side. Bob's your uncle. We've done it. And then if you just want to name a horse and put a little kind of post here so you can strap them up to it, then there you go. That is basically how to build Hagrid's hut, guys. And of course, the last finishing details are the trees. These are just oak trees to represent the Forbidden Forest. So you also want to scatter trees about the place. Make sure the path is left clear. So not on the pathway. There we go. And then around the back of Hagrid's hut, if you wanted to add a little bit more detail as well. But yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this Wheels Lesson video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you definitely learned how to build Harry's Hut and you feel like it was a good tutorial, definitely leave a like. That'd be awesome. If you want to subscribe for more tutorials, I'd really appreciate it. We do very many on the channel, and I'd love to do some more Harry Potter ones. I love the Harry Potter films dearly, and I've started reading the books, which I know I should have done before, but, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, thank you again, guys. I really do appreciate it. You guys have been awesome. I hope you did enjoy this one. And I'll see you at the next Wheel of Sun video. Goodbye for now.